Hearing God's voice is as simple as quieting yourself down, fixing your eyes on Jesus, turning to spontaneity, and writing. Today, we are going to focus on writing. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Lynn. And, and together, together, we're Lynn and Steve. Steve. Three years ago, when I asked Steve if he'd be interested in learning how to hear God's voice, I never imagined how amazing this journey would be. And I certainly never imagined we'd be sitting in front of a camera telling others about it and talking about how you were healed of Asperger's. So let's begin with some review. Habakkuk 2, 1 and 2 says, I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. There I will wait to see what the Lord says and how he will answer. Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. This is the verse that God highlighted to Mark Verkler, and it contains the four keys. And today is the day for key number four, journaling. So Steve, remind our audience how you felt as we were going through this material three years ago, and the day came when we first practiced journaling. How did you feel about actually beginning to put it into practice? To be honest, I didn't want to do it, but Lynn had gotten everything laid out and ready. So how could I say no? I'm so glad that I didn't give in to my inward feelings of resistance. Learning to hear God's voice was a step in the process that led to me understanding that I could be healed of Asperger's. So be encouraged, and I hope you'll begin this amazing practice by picking out a journal that you find comfortable to write in and start to practice writing down your spontaneous thoughts. And on that note, let's talk about picking out a journal. Steve has shown you what he prefers, and now I'm gonna share what I use. I get these mini three ring binders at Walmart for a few dollars, and refill paper is sold separate there at Walmart. And the nice thing is that I can insert images into the front of it that reflect something that God is revealing to me. For instance, this was one of my first journals, and I drew Jesus tipping my chin up towards him, and I wrote out some sweet names that Jesus gave me. And yes, Jesus will give you sweet and fun nicknames. Now, on the inside, there are pockets, and I keep a photo of myself at age eight to remind myself to have childlike faith. Also, this binder stays open flat when it's open, so that works well for me. So here we are. Here are a few basic tips to help you if you are one who is easily distracted. As an Aspie, I sure was. Try using noise blocking earphones. They were such a big help to me, shutting out the rest of the world, allowing me to only focus on God and His voice. If you are tempted to check your phone often, turn it off and put it out of sight. Have your journal open up to the page you will be writing on and write down the day's date. It's so nice to be able to go back and read your entries by dates. So yes, here we are. Now you're seated in a comfortable, quiet area. You're still and your eyes are closed and you're in a scene with Jesus and yourself. You have a prompt question that you ask Jesus and you begin to hear spontaneous bubbling thoughts lighting up in your spirit and it is time to write them down. Okay, Steve, tell us what a prompt question is. A prompt question is a question that you ask Jesus and then begins to release the flow of spontaneous bubbling thoughts that light up in your spirit as Jesus is answering you. For instance, you might want to ask Jesus, Jesus, can you talk to me about your love for me? Or, Jesus, how do you see me? As you are in your vision with, with yourself and Jesus, see yourself looking into his loving eyes as you await his answer. What would his voice sound like? What do his loving eyes look like? I can promise you that Jesus is always so full of love and encouragement. Jesus is joyful. He's not nervous. He's fully confident in who he is and who he made you to be. And he wants you to love yourself like he loves you. We can love others better when we love ourselves. Mark 12, 31 reminds us, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you hear harsh words, that's not Jesus. Just restart and remember, Jesus wants to, you to hear his voice. In John 10, 27, he says, My sheep hear my voice. 
Maybe you have a situation in your life and you would like him to give you some direction. For instance, maybe as you are in your vision with Jesus, you would ask him, Lord, how would you have me show greater honor, respect, and love towards my spouse, my children, and the friends you have given me? It's so nice to picture yourself safely with the one who loves you best, Jesus, gently giving you loving feedback. Indeed. And as an artist, I'm a big advocate of using pictures if you feel stuck. Stick figures are just fine. In your journal, you could draw yourself sitting with Jesus and make sure to show yourself happy. Put a smile on your face. Thank you for being with you. And again, it might help if you are in the vision as a child. You could ask Jesus, Lord, do you love me? What do you want to say to me? If you hear something amazingly good, that is Jesus. Get used to hearing his loving words. One thing we suggest is to get used to free writing. Just write what you hear. You can sort through it later and share it with a trusted, mature friend who themselves has learned to hear the voice of God. Or if anyone has a question about what they heard from Jesus, we have posted our email address in the description below. Let us know what you heard from Jesus. And one thing that is so important is to develop a culture and a habit of journaling through practice, practice, practice. Practice makes permanent. Don't beat yourself up if you miss a day. Just pick up again the next day. If you can possibly do it early in the morning, this is so helpful to kickstart your day the right way. Before you know it, you will be on your way to filling up a journal and you will be feeling lighter as you digest the loving words of Jesus. Wouldn't it be fun to have people record themselves audibly reading their favorite love note for, from their journal that Jesus spoke to them? If we can get that set up, we'd love to hear your feedback that way. So go pick out a journal, establish a time, a place, and... Quiet yourself down, fix your eyes on Jesus, Turn to spontaneity and write. Next week will be fun. We'll do some live journaling for you all. Happy writing, guys. See you next week. Please like us and subscribe.